What are you, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Lycos, and this is part three of my No Man's Sky new player guide for 2024. If you find this video useful, it would be awesome if you'd hit that subscribe button. And now let's get right into the guide. Now, in the last episode, we got to the point where we can warp to a new system for the first time. Now, once you get to your second system, the game isn't going to get you to do a whole lot in this system. It's just going to get you to go visit an alien structure. It's going to give you a little bit of lore and another warp cell so you can warp to another system. Now I made sure to visit the space station in this system. I didn't do anything in there. I just wanted to land on the space station so that I'm able to teleport back here again later on. And it doesn't hurt to grab the extra inventory slot here as well. I didn't think about it while I was here, so I'm going to have to teleport back and get it later on. But for right now, I'm going to continue on with the tutorial and head to the next system. Now, in this system, things are going to get a little more interesting. Right from the start, the story is going to send you to a crashed ship. There, we're going to get our advanced mining beam, and we can also repair this crashed ship. Now, you can get this ship for yourself if you want and repair all of the systems. But that takes a little bit too much time for my liking. So unless a crash ship that I find is absolutely amazing and I definitely want to keep it, I'm not going to bother holding on to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to repair the engines and the thrusters. So that I can get it off the ground and up to a space station. Then once at the space station, I can scrap it for its parts and make a little bit of money selling these components to the galactic trade. And I'm also going to sell the upgrade that I got from it to a technology merchant for extra nanites. Now the system that I warped to happens to be an outlaw system. There's a lot of pretty cool things that you can do with the outlaw systems. As you can see the space stations are quite a bit different. You can even get some outlaw missions here which are pretty cool. So now we're just going to head back out into space and continue on with the story. Out here we're going to be alerted again and then we're going to answer the communication and this is going to lead us to one of the most important things in No Man's Sky and that is the anomaly. There is quite a bit of important stuff that we're going to be going over with regards to the anomaly but first let's finish up the tutorial so we're going to need to go talk to Nada and Nada is going to send us to talk to a bunch of other NPCs we're going to have a chat with Polo. We're going to talk to this NPC down here. This is an NPC that you can give data to and he will give you nanites in return. Same thing with this other NPC that's very close by. You can transmit your milestone data to them and they will give you nanites for this as well. And continuing on here, the game is going to get you to go to one of the most important locations in the game. That's this area right here on the anomaly. And here you can get some very useful upgrades and unlock a ton of building blueprints. In my opinion, this is the best location to spend your first nanites. There's some really great and in some cases crucial upgrades that you can get in this spot. Now the first NPC that the game is going to get you to go to is this one here that you can buy exosuit upgrades off of. The personal refiner is really great. The movement upgrades are very good as well. Also right next to this vendor you can get another inventory slot. So in the last video we got the inventory slot which was on the space station but you can also get one on the anomaly for every system that you visit. So if you want to maximize your inventory make sure that you're visiting both for every system that you visit. Now right next to this spot is the construction research station where you can purchase an incredible amount of building blueprints. The medium refiner is useful early on and this is also where you can get the exocraft summoning stations. Right next to that we have the NPC that has ship upgrades. Now here early on I really like to get the economy scanner. You need to get the teleport receiver first which is another good one. It allows you to transfer items to your ship from a greater distance. But I particularly like the economy scanner. This does a couple of things, but the thing that I like the best about this is that you can scan from space and see where trading outposts are in that system. There's also a bunch of other really good upgrades here for your ship. 
the cadmium, emerald, and indium drives allow you to travel to new systems. There's some good upgrades for your thrusters and some really great ship weapons. I particularly like the infra knife, but the positron ejector is really good as well. Over on this side, we have the NPC where we can get multi-tool upgrades. You can also purchase a multi-tool here as well. I personally really like the scatter blaster and the pulse spitter weapons. The pulse spitter is probably my favorite, but the scatter blaster is a really powerful shotgun. But this is a very important area that you should be returning to pretty often. Get your upgrades and building blueprints. And now we're just going to talk to Nada one more time, and this is pretty much where the game's tutorial ends. You can still continue on with the story, but the game really opens up at this point, and you can check out pretty much everything that No Man's Sky has to offer. Now back then where we first came into the anomaly, there's the Nexus. This is where you can get multiplayer missions. You can complete these solo, or with your friends, or you can wait to see if a random player joins your group. There's a lot of good rewards for these missions. And you can also do missions here for Quicksilver. This is a special currency that's in the game. And if we just head over to the side of the Nexus, you'll see an NPC where we can buy things for Quicksilver. This guy sells a ton of really cool things for Quicksilver. And if you play any of the expeditions, you can get your expedition rewards here as well. Now, speaking of expeditions, there is a really cool expedition that's going on right now. So if you're watching this video shortly after it's released, if you haven't checked out the expedition yet, I highly recommend it. I really enjoy doing the expeditions in No Man's Sky, and they give some really great rewards. And even if you're a new player, if you're at the point where you've reached the anomaly, this would be a great time to check out an expedition. Now, there isn't always an expedition on the go, so if you're watching this video a couple of months after I released it, you may not have an option for an expedition, but right now, while the expedition is going on, you can either start a new game and do the expedition that way, or you can play the expedition in your current save just by going to this location right next to the Nexus. This terminal will allow you to do the expedition on your current character. While you're doing the expedition, you will temporarily lose your ship's inventory, stuff like that, but as soon as you're done the expedition, you'll get all of that back and get to keep all of the things that you earned in the expedition. So now that we've gotten to this point in the guide, I would love to hear some things that you guys would like to see next. I'm planning on checking out the expedition really soon, so I might make a video on that, but I would also like you guys input if you want to see videos on making units or nanites, or perhaps getting a really good early game ship. Those are a couple of ideas that I have for videos that I'm going to do in the near future, but I would love to hear some of your guys input on what you would like to see next. I hope you guys got some useful information out of this video. Thank you all so much for watching and as always stay where you're at and I'll come where you too. Later everyone.